guys hello how's it going um just gonna update a video that i've previously posted a couple of months ago and that's how to create and restore a backup on a fire tv stick this will also work for the normal fire tv but there's easier ways of doing it with that because it does have a usb um the previous method that i did upload was the method that used es file explorer and the cloud function that was integrated into that app Basically, you could sign in with your Dropbox account and copy and paste your Kodi folder to Dropbox. It works for some, it works for me, but a lot of people were struggling with the upload speeds on their um, internet service provider. So they was getting halfway done and it would just fail on them or it would take a really long time. So this is going to be a different kind of way of doing it. Hopefully it's going to help them people and basically what we're going to do is we're going to use total installer now a lot of people seem to think with total installer when you make a backup it goes to the total installer community build section and anyone can download your build that is not the case basically to do that it's quite a long-winded um, process. I will upload a separate video for anyone who does want to upload their build to the community builds, but this is just going to be for people who want a personal copy of their build. It creates you a universal build. You can use it on any device, just so long as you restore it using the total installer. And that's about it, guys. I'm also just going to show you quickly how to stop your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV getting really low on storage. A lot of people come to me with the um, critically low on storage error and basically it gets to the point where they don't clear their cache often enough and they've built up like a four or five gigabyte size cache and it's took up all the memory on the mem on the Fire TV stick and it will not allow them to open apps and stuff like that. So all you want to do is you want to download this app guys. It's called Clean Master for TV. Let me just let that focus if it will. There we go. Clean Master for TV. And you don't have to sideload it. All you need to do is go to your search section here. And you want to search Clean Master. There we go. It's just there in the list. Clean Master for TV. You want to go up, scroll across to the right to apps and games and there it is. I've already got it installed so I'm just going to open it now. And basically, you want to let it detect all this stuff that it's doing, your memory, your cache, all that good stuff. And it will come up on screen with a boost icon. This may take a while as it's not been done. There we go. So you will get this boost option. All you want to do is select OK on that and it will clear everything for you and then complete it. It's that quick, guys. And you just want to do that maybe once a week just to make sure you keep on top of it. So regarding um, making a backup, you want to open your coder or your SPMC, whichever one it is that you use. And as you can see, it did force close the app for me because I did clean it. It will not wipe your data, guys. It will just wipe your cache and reboot the app for you. So this is just opening up now. And there we go. So regarding making a backup, you want to get the total installer repo, first of all, which is this one here. i.totalxbmc.tv I do believe that it is now in caps I'm not sure though just try them both ways one of them will work and you want to install the total installer add-on it will do an update and put you on version 2 which is this one here that I'm going to open it'll play a video and whatnot just stop that when you can and you will see this now you want to go to your settings and the first thing that you want to do before you even begin this 
is make an account on the Total Installer website. I'll leave a link down below. As you can see there, it's written in green, www.totalxbmc.tv. You want to sign up for a free account with them and then you will need to sign in with your account here. Your username and your password and then hit OK. Once you've done that, you want to go to the community build section and you want to choose a backup location where your build where your zip files will save. Now I'm going to go to root file system SD card download and I'm going to save it to the downloads folder just so it makes sense to do that. You can obviously save it to wherever you want, but I know I'm going to remember that I'll put it in the downloads folder. You can check the path if you want to, but it should all be fine. And then you want to hit OK. Now I'm going to pause the video, sign in, and then I'll continue. Right guys, so that's me signed in. As you can see, it gives you a little welcome back message there with your username. Now to make a community build, you want to go down to this option here, community builds. You'll get a little uh, notification, just back up off that. And you want to select create my own community build. Now, as I said, this isn't going to make a community build as such in the fact that it's going to go to the servers and everyone's going to be able to download it. It's just going to create you a zip file that you can restore on all your devices. So I'm going to select that and you just got to name it. So I'm just going to put test simply because this is for a video test and hit done. Now you'll get a little pop-up saying, do you want to include your, include your add-on data folder? If this is a build that is just going to be used for you, then you can go ahead and select yes. But bear in mind, guys, that if you are creating this for other people and you use premium accounts, like paid-for add-ons that um, have a subscription and a password and everything, you want to select no on that simply because it will... Um, not include all your passwords and your login details if you select yes then it will restore them onto the new new device that you are doing it on but if you select no then it's gonna um include all your passwords and stuff and you're not going to want to be putting that up for everyone so i'm going to sit select yes because it's going on my own fire tv stick and you'll see it's just now um zipping everything up it doesn't take too long, obviously it depends on the size of your build, but shouldn't take too long at all for anybody, as you can see. The percentage is going up nice and healthily. And I'm just going to pause this video again guys, because it's already getting on for 8 minutes. So, I will continue the video once it gets closer to 100%. Right guys, so there we go, we're backed up. I will just show you now. It, told, it tells you just again, so you don't forget, where it's actually saved. It, um, as you can see, it's mentioning a universal back, backup. That's the backup that you want to use if you're using on different devices. So we're going to select OK, and we're just going to jump out of this completely. And we're going to go over to ES File Explorer. And as you can see, there is now the community builds folder, my builds, and there is my two um, zip files that I've just created. Now, let's take a look at the size of these. Can you see the size on that? It's only just short of 200 megabytes in size. 
Now that's a lot smaller guys than what the actual build will be if you just copy and pasted the Android folder. You know the Kodi folder from Android straight to Dropbox. So now that that folder is much smaller you should be able to now upload that to the cloud. So you want to hit copy. You want to go over to your network and you want to go to the cloud. You want to go to your Dropbox and you want to hit paste. Anybody who was having issues regarding um, copying the whole Android Kodi folder over to Dropbox, you should now easily be able to copy this over. As you can see there, it's going much faster than what it did in my previous video. I think in my previous video that I made months ago, it must have took about 40 minutes to copy the full thing over. And this one's going much, much faster. I'm going to pause the video again, or I'm going to stop the video, should I say, and I'll create a separate... Um, video on uploading this to the new fire stick and all that good stuff so watch out for part two